interesting sieve because there's a lot of really, really cheesy strategies you can do with China. But it doesn't matter if you cheese if you don't know your fundamentals and how to get in front or how to maintain a lead. So let's play this correctly. Looking for the map, looking for the things that are weak. Look at this. What did we learn from last game? Good town center with good food. We should go for it. So let's go for it. It's decent food there as well. Got some bear there, found some more food. Looks like food is a little bit dire on this map. We don't have that much food in our starting base either. So we're going to need to go to secondary food first. This is Oracle. I'm kind of trying to find if those are my deer or not up there. I think they are my deer, to be honest. Hmm. Let's build a house. Don't want to get a house. And how many deer are actually there? There's only three deer there. What we can do is come over to these caribou as well. That'll be fine. We're going to have to do that. So let's do it. This town center over here has berries in a tree line, but it's obviously we want to take this one. Our gold mines aren't the best, so we got to be careful about that. How are we going to secure those? Our home gold mine's nice. Our wood line's nice. Throwing away an oracle. That's no good. Now, sometimes you find yourself in these situations where, you know, maybe, maybe you need to, uh... Maybe you need to go on to chicken. Doesn't matter. Just do it. There's no other food for us to go and get apart from over here. We've already got villages over here. So let's just go on to the chicken. And go about our, our, our life in a, in a happy and in a happy way. And eventually we'll be able to advance. No need to go crazy and move up and try and grab this hunt. It's too far away. There's not a lot of it there. So this is a, a bit of funny walking time. We do have a lot of cows though. So that's good to know. We should be able to advance fairly soon here. Maybe I need another villager or two to come out. Oh, we should be able to advance. And up we go. We're going to go through this god because no reason other than that's the one that I decided. Okay, so we've got a good amount of villagers now on the right resources. Going to be grabbing this. Again, when we get the second town center, we're going to attempt to... Um, we're going to attempt to get our economic upgrades a little bit later, but still try and get them as fast as we possibly can. We have a good amount of cow, so we definitely want to get husbandry fairly quickly. Let's, let's check out if he's got this over here or not. And maybe come over and see if he's getting his own second town center, if we need to be worried if we should be walling up or not straight away. looks like he's chasing my scout. I'm just telling him. Have a nice time over there. Send our villagers over here. And we can even get husbandry early. Why not? He's killing my scouts. Alright. So he's making um what look to be heroes. We want to defend this. Maybe he's looking to attack us with those heroes. Maybe he's not. I don't know. And we can maybe come over here onto these berries. These berries are a little bit undefended. So try and eat them early. We got housed. Not good. That's uh, definitely not a fundamental. We're going to chuck down two houses just to make sure that we're okay. 
And something kind of cool you can do with um, Shinong, it doesn't really work with any other god except for maybe Ra, you probably wouldn't do it with Ra, is you can use this um, this god power in order to uh, in order to get yourself into farms. So we're going to get Hand Axe nice and early. I'll follow that a little bit later. Okay, so he's hit Classical Age through Leto. We do need to be careful. Our town center is almost up. I want to get pickaxe. And I want to start putting villages over here. And we're going to start thinking about getting some military units out. So the units that Atlantean can make. You've got Mamillo, you've got Terma. So what can I beat those with? The answer is probably going to be... Oops, it looks like Scout Cavalry wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm choking you, maybe not. Maybe we can go Halberdier. Okay, so now we're going to throw all of these villages over here onto um, onto wood, cast our wood god power in order to give us a lot of wood in order to then build our farms. I think we might even want to build a stable and a barracks here, nice and defensive, like always. We could think about getting this upgrade, wheelbarrow seems good. We haven't gotten any, um, any favor though, no biggie. Get this when we can. Now it's coming. And once we have hit all of this wood here, we can start thinking about farms. We should have had an uh, uh, one of these things here, but oops, it's fine. And farms start coming down. And we're off to the races. Great. I think we are going to go for Scout, Cavalry, Choker, and you. Because why not? Seems like it's okay. Against the potentials of Gaia. We need to keep building our houses. Okay, we do need to be concerned about how we're going to get our second gold mine. So we'll think about that for a little bit. Okay, well, there's no way to wall it off. So let's create our wall. I'm going to build a stable over here. And a barracks. That way we're going to be completely fine to get that, to get that, uh, that all sorted out. Now we can start making some units. We can get this upgrade like we said we love. And we can think about getting the bow saw a little bit later when we can afford it. And now our gold mine is a lot more safe than it otherwise would have been. We're still short resources to get that, that upgrade, so we'll get there when we get there. But at this point, we're just trying to make sure that this gold mine is safe. Get a good amount of units out. Okay. So, at this point now, I'm fairly confident that I'm going to be able to keep everything alive. And we're going to grab a bow saw and we're going to get a garden. And then we can start pumping units out again. Small amount of uh, stoppages in auto queue are always good. Otherwise, sometimes you end up getting full pop and having no economy behind it. My opponent has gotten a second town center. So this game, I'm actually going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to go up to three town centers now because I know he's gotten his second town center. I know he can't come and get me with some sort of mythic timing. I'm going to be okay. 
And then we just start making our military units again. I want to fix these, these granaries up if I have a can. That helps. <laughs> it helps out a lot on the resources. Okay. So now we've got all our economic upgrades, almost all of them. We can start thinking about getting our line upgrades. One. This one comes soon. You have a small weakness over this side because this is open. You might sneak through here and throw up a palace or something behind this tree line. I mean, it's, it's unlikely at this stage, but let's just play solidly. Wall this off. Wall off over here so we can't get back there. Because why not? Okay. Now we need to think about how we get the next gold mine. Make sure he can't can't push us on that. Oh, he's got a unit there. Let's kill that unit. Let's come around here. All this off. All this all off. Okay. And we're well on our way. We can even consider throwing down some more military buildings again, getting some more farms. So let's do that. He very rudely just um, made a, a guy a forest here. We can fix that, that's fine. And now we're going to be full pop, ready to go, and get this upgrade. Ready for, ready for the next portion of the game. We've, 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 uh, we're completely fine safe here. He's gone three town centers as well. So let's consider getting some more population here or favor here from this and we'll advance to the next age. Let's go through this one. Oh, that's fine. Get an earthen wall. That costs no resources. My god, this civilization is bonkers. Okay, we can get, remember we were getting these upgrades as well. But we don't have to get them right now because we're not in the heroic age just yet. We'll be okay. Getting these farms, these are gardens up. And old mate is still just waiting for me. Not sure what he's waiting for. Now we have to get farms up. And we can just jump straight to the Mythic Age after this as well. But first things first, we're going to get all of our economic upgrades. Are we still building these? We are, so let's stop. We'll get our market fairly soon. Normally, if I wasn't following the fundamentals there, I would have probably built the market first and then bought my uh my 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 wood, but doesn't matter that much. We can get this upgrade, we can get this upgrade after. We can get this upgrade. We've got a lot of gold in the bank. How much does this cost? Jesus, that's nothing. Defensive sieves, overpowered. Okay, and we're gonna go up. We're gonna go through this one. And we're gonna get this one. Oh, are we being attacked? Let's defend. Before this yet? Yes. He's getting towers everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna have to build um, some sort of siege units here. 
So we'll think about getting those a little bit in a little bit. Do I have everything? Yeah, we do. This gives us more favor, so let's get that. Okay, apparently we're fighting this. Let's use our god powers. Because why not? He's attacking us. We feel good about ourselves. We've got heavy units, he's got classical units. Okay, let's retreat. Don't want to run into the towers, don't know what's behind there, what's happening. Um, okay, we've got all those, we should throw down our armories as well. Keep our units safe, don't want to throw them away. We're getting these upgrades out. Push this wall off, maybe. We should be worried about this gold mine situation here, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw up a, uh, a palace here. Or a castle, I guess it's what it's called. Maybe we can throw this down and kill off his... Uh, his thing. In that way, we are completely safe. Continue here. We want to get this market up in the corner of the map as well, like you say, so let's go and secure that corner. And let's push through. Got all of our upgrades. This, so we can start making some siege. Probably need some heroes, but we'll work on that later. What's this upgrade do? The normal upgrades here. Now we've got a uh, castle over here, he's got a watchtower, and, and we've got good economy here. So we're happy to take this fight, even if he's going to win it somewhat slightly. We've got all of these archers doing a lot. And we're also starting to get the armory upgrades. We've got, we've got this Azure Drake we can bring in. That'll help out a lot. In fact, we can keep building that. That's a good unit. Well, maybe we can keep building it. Maybe we can't. And maybe we get our heroes out. If everything could just have a waypoint into the top, we'd be okay. Now he's pushing me, but again, like I'm very, very safe here, so you can grab that upgrade at some point. Oh, let's make this safe. Got some castles up. Terrifying. Well, normally I wouldn't be spamming into this, but I feel like he's ready to attack me. Somewhat ready to attack me. You can see his armory upgrades are probably non-existent. Almost non-existent. Okay, now we've won that, we'll just cancel all these units and get all our armor upgrades out. Boom, boom, boom. So that. These guys can come over here. Start making units again. Get this upgrade. I am fast. True. Fundamentals. Well, getting all our upgrades, everything is good. And we are slowly pushing through. We can even grab this upgrade. This upgrade is really good as well. Engineers. Is that cheaper as well? Is that just me? No, that's the normal price. GG. So again, the economy. The economy here. Carries me to victory. Timeline. All resources. For the entirety of this, we are in front. We just sit back on that and allow that to... Um, Allow us that to take us to the victory. By getting out our economic upgrades as soon as we can, by getting villages out as fast as possible, by playing defensive. 
and not letting him deal any damage to us. Maybe he didn't try to put damage to us as the ranks as we climb up the ranks. Maybe people will start trying to put some pressure on, so we're gonna have to defend a little bit. But this is the idea. 